Hello everyone, it's Nick here and it's more Tomb Raider blundering. Now this time we're going to attempt stage 8, the cistern. Now the, back in the day, this is the furthest I ever got. I didn't progress further than this level because it's damn confusing. Now you have to collect quite a, uh, a lot of keys here and put them in the right lock, of which there's many different options. But um, you also, at some stage, by pulling a switch, have to change the water level so you can reach higher bits. Oh, there's a, there's a rat here. Let's get rid of that. Boom. And if you do it in the wrong order, it becomes impossible. Now, I've got a bit of a guide here telling me what to do, so hopefully I can do it in the right order this time and finally get off the level, and then we're in new territory. Who knows? Um, it looks like I'm in a room of nothing here. Is this a block? Might be able to pull that out. No, that's not working. Right, there's obviously a block somewhere in here we need to push or pull. Is it this? Is this it? Actually, I think it's that one one in the middle. Fair enough. It was a bit hard to tell, but this is the one, yep. Good. We're well on the way. So a good start then. I got confused right at the bit beginning. Did you ever progress further than the cistern back in the day? Um, we're about halfway through the game now, we're just passed over halfway, so it's starting to get a bit tricky. But I'll try and keep you informed as we go around here, as I try and work out what I'm doing. Oh, there's a switch there, so we need to push that, I would have thought. That's probably going to open that door, that white door, and then we'll be through. The guide says the secret to success in the cistern concerns the manipulation of the water level. A single switch floods or drains the area around the large central pool, which we haven't reached yet. As long as you get started in the right direction, hmm, you need you need to throw the flood switch only once to gather all the keys that allow Lara to exit. Well, what could be simpler as we're attacked by mutant rats again? Oh dear. Haven't they got anything better to do? So the cistern, we're pretty much going into the sewers now, so forget all your exotic locations, this is sewage territory. Ah. I thought this was going to be the way out, but this is just a room with a medipack in. I think a hole opened up in the floor as well, so we'll drop down there, I think. So, Tomb Raider blundering. Stage 8, Cistern. Yes. Will we get beyond this? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know how long it'll last, but I don't think this stage is as long as the last one, Palace Midas. Right, I think through here's the main area. We might be treated to some music here. So a small introduction, now the main beef of it. Oh yes. Atmospheric music. What's going on here? A lot of algae. So absorb the atmosphere. This is Tomb Raider. This is, a, this is a massive open area, lots of bridges, or walkways, I don't know what's holding them up. Stone, that's what. Okay. Now we have to jump across platforms to get special keys. I think there's some uh, wildlife roaming downstairs. So lions from previous levels have been replaced by rats. You do notice a change in the enemies gradually if we peg this one. Tough luck, mutant rat. The gorillas are gone now for a bit. I think it's mainly rats here. I don't think there's any bats to contend with. Oh, there's another one there coming my way. And now it's dead. I think we've got to jump across a crack, or we've got to jump across there. Uh, hmm. I'm getting a lot of feeling about this. Childhood feeling. Well, not quite childhood. <laughs> but yeah, this is as far as I've got. And uh, I think it was all about the confusion of where a switch was or when to pull the switch. And then I just I got frustrated and gave up on it, I think. Hopefully, hopefully we work it out. But uh, yes, a lot of opportunity to go wrong here. But we'll, we'll go, we'll try not to go too slow, but we won't go overly uh, fast just so just so I don't muck this up but the game is starting to get very interesting now it's taking a bit of a diabolical turn where it's a little bit more tricky 
a little bit more obscure uh, about a guy and I think it's virtually impossible. Or oh, some bullets down there, some shotgun pellets. That'll help if we've got to take out some more rats. So we'll drop down, get those, and I think that's another crack, I think, to my left. Hmm. Seems like the sort of level, if you fall off something, you've got a big drop and you die. Not as bad as St Francis Folly that we did. But all the same, it looks like it's not going to probably do you too much in the health department. So this is a good first adventure, Lara. But, um, yeah, for a PlayStation 1 game, this is huge, isn't it? There's loads to do. I mean, you're certainly getting value for money, that's for sure. I, I'm still not 100% sure if I'm doing this in the right order, but I couldn't find anywhere else to go, so this is probably as good as any. If, if any rats turn up, we'll know we're in the, going in the right direction. Uh, mm, pull up or drop down? I'm in two minds here. Pull up. Yeah, this looks like a root. We're almost up as high as the ceiling here, so don't really want to fall off this. Gently does it. Hmm. So I think we're about... What are we at about? Just over six and a half minutes in. Nothing too much has happened. We've opened up this area. Just navigating our way across. Oh, there's a key. I didn't know what that was. So that opens something. It's a rusty key. Now we've got a... Look, there's a door over there. It could open... That. There's a few... There's a couple of doors over there. Could open either one of those two. Well, at least they're close together. If it could open any one of two doors and they was miles apart, it could last a while. Doesn't look like there's too much that can kill us apart from drops. So we need to get across to that other side. I mean, later on hopefully we flood this area so the water's right up to that door so we can just swim up to it. Yeah, we can make that. I, I'm actually doing this quite well at the moment. What's going on? Am I getting used to this game? I saw there's a blue crystal onto my right there, just out of vision. We won't save the game just yet, because I'm quite confident I can get to this stage again, or this point in the stage. I need to get over to that door. So, yeah, I think that's doable. So, a huge jump from Lara. Hop back and run and jump. Should get it. Ooh. Oh, God, that was close. Oh, that was close. Um, we'll do a run and jump again. There seems to be a lot of area for safety there. Right, so this rusty key, what door does it open? It's either this one or the one next door. Hopefully it's this one. Please be kind to me, computer programmers. Wee, whoa, jeepers. It's a good job I had my grabby X button there because um, I wasn't ready for that. So you can guarantee you... When I open this thing, something's going to fly out. Something that kills you. Right, does the rusty key fit in here? It does. Well, that was lucky. Right, so this is a point in. Something's going to run out. I don't know what that is. Is that a gorilla? I thought we'd seen the end of them. It is. Well, beg my pardon then. I thought we'd seen the end of the gorillas. But there's another one there. Let's get the shotgun out then, because they always come in pairs. There he is. <laughs> there he is on cue. Boom. Oh, those gorillas. They need really need to improve their strategy. They always lie down in the same way once killed, though. That's quite stylish. It obviously must be a directive that they go for. Look, identical looking. Hmm. Right, let's see if there's anything to pick up here. Bullets or med packs would be cool. Nope. Right, we need to head upwards. That's my deduction, and I can't make that. So there must be a pillar to jump on, or a block to pull out, or something. We need to go up. Oh, is that... No. I think there might be a ledge up this end of the room. Is there? No, I can't make that. 
Perhaps by the door. Yeah, that looks yeah, that looks slightly lower. We can make that. There we go. Brilliant. I think we're doing this quite quickly, you know. As I say, I'd be very surprised if this lasts an hour and a half like the last stage. But you never can tell. It depends if I get a bit which I can't get past and we have to do a montage of failed attempts. Right, so what we got here, ever increasing height for platforms where we have to run and jump and catch it by our fingertips. But we're used to this sort of thing, this shouldn't prove a problem. Easy peasy. Oh, there's a med pack. Is some, what's that? Someone, someone's shooting at me there, was that? That was weird. I lost half my strength. Who was that shooting? They've stopped now anyway. What's it? Here, we might have to drop down. I can't make out where that's coming from. Where is that? I think one of Natla's henchmen might be somewhere. I don't know if they're up or, or below. This is a bit scary. The guide says nothing about this. Oi! There he is. There's, some, there's someone down there. Jeepers. This has cost loads of strength. Well, that's cost a bit more. This ain't good. There he is, with a funny looking jacket on. Take that. Well, that's a disaster in terms of med packs. We've used miles more health than we should have done, and... It's one of these henchmen that never die, I think. Right, let's get some more powerful guns out. Rapid fire. Out with the Uzis, come back, peg him. Generally, they just run off after a while. And he's gone. Where is he? Yeah. Natla's henchmen, eh? I think they might be zombies or something. They just don't die, and then they, they bugger off. Okay. As long as he doesn't turn up again when I reach that level, we seem to have survived it in not convincing fashion. Okay, so as you were, let's do this again then, without the interruptions. I think we meet Natla right on level 15. We might have a bit of a fight with her. She might turn into something a bit crazy. But I might be remembering uh, wrong. And I've only seen that from other footage because I never got to that level. From magazines, I think. Remember? Oops, that's good. Remember when you used to buy magazines to see if a game was any good or not? Now you just turn on the internet and it tells you. <laughs> Those were the days. And cover discs. Remember on the Amiga, I had loads of cover discs. Right, let's do this properly this time. We, we seem to be um, wasting a lot of time here with this bit. We want to see what's up the end. I really need an, another med pack there to make up for the ones I've lost. So if you see any, please point them out. Would you like to do this in real life? No. Um, they obviously knew, um, whoever designed this level, they obviously knew Lara's um, limitations. Because they've made, they made um, levels there and jumps just about the sort of distance where she can grab by the skin of her fingertips. And they're always the same on whatever level. So that's quite good. Oh, there's a crack there I can jump. And there's... What's that down there? Bullets or a med pack? I think... I think I'm going to try and show off now and show you an amazing stunt. Are you going to prepare yourself? This is going to be most unlike my gameplay. We don't know if it's going to work first time. Right, amazing stunt coming up. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Takes a deep breath. Boom! What did you think of that? I know. <laughs> that's sheer bravado. I don't know how I got away with that. Anyway, that's the only way to get these magnum bullets. How did I pull that off? See, it's confidence. Take that forward in real life. For everyday life, really. Something you've got no chance of doing. Go in with maximum confidence. And if it worked out, get the kudos for that. But anyway, we got those bullets for free. But the uh, the dreaded upshot... The dreaded upshot is... I'm going to have to do all these jumps again. Oh, dear. Thank you for staying with me. This is, um, well, I gave it the right name, didn't I? Tomb Raider Blundering. Right, so last time we have to do this.
Although I think I think we might have to do it again later on in the level. But last time we have to do this at the moment. Okay. And this time we really will jump and get that crack at the top. It's all for the crack. Not drugs. A crack in the wall. You know what I mean. I think rigor mortis is probably setting in on those gorillas at this point. Okay. Right. I don't know if you can see that. There is a crack in the wall, but it'll, it'll come apparent when I run and jump and either get it or miss it. There we go. Grab. Got it. Now we'll shimmy across to the right. Shimmy, shimmy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Brilliant. Now, when we jump, drop off here, uh, according to the guide, there should be a, a lot of slopes that it's quite safe for us to slide down, and that'll take us into another area. There might be some baddies there, so I'll have to get my uh, gun ready. It's probably animal baddies. I think it might be crocodiles. But, um, you know, I have killed them before. Shotgun to the brain normally is their weakness. And that can be said by a lot of animals, really. Shotgun to the brain. Uh, it's a bit tricky to recover from it. Are we going to get any music? Doesn't look like it. Wouldn't mind a blue crystal to save it from now, because I don't want to start again. Yes, nice bit of sliding, wearing out the shoes. Let's get some the gun ready, the shotgun. There's going to be crocodiles down here, I tell you that now. Some of them might be sneaky. There's one. <laughs> Didn't last very long. As you see him in his death throes. Well, I've got a funny feeling he's not alone. Right, let's get... Oh! <laughs> yeah, sneaky. Sneaky. Yeah, right. Uh, hopefully there isn't any more. Right, let's save this here with this blue crystal. It seems in a very convenient way. Saved. Well done. So, whatever happens now, we'll only have to start from that point again. That's a relief. There's not many blue crystals in, in these games. But when you do... Oh, dearie me. That's it. I'm, uh, I was up for that. Three crocodiles down there. That was a bit overkill. And a rat. They're all dead. I don't think... I don't think there's anything else. And I, I took them out with much aplomb. Medipack. That'll do us. Yeah, I don't think there's too much more in this, this uh, basement bit. We have to head upwards. Up, up, up. So, back on that plinth where the blue crystal was. There's a door there, top right. I need to find a way to open that. As I say, it's very cavernous, this. This level in particular. Yeah, it's one of those jumping games. But you can't help to become an expert in jumping after a while. On the first one or two levels, I was pretty crappy. But um, I'm starting to learn my trade here. Or at least remember it. Also, you start to work out how the um, programmer's mind works with these puzzles. You know, what's possible and what's not. Right, how do I get to that door from here? It's a bit of a sideways one. I don't think we can make it. We'll have to jump across to this level here. Right, this is an interesting bit. Now, this next this floor is a bit far below. But as long as we don't... Go. Yeah, see, if I'd gone over the edge, I would have been dead. But just a single jump, we're there. A uh, crack, which you'll come to recognise in the game. Shimmy across, and then we should be able to drop touch wood just uh, um, in front of that white door we spotted. See, I do know what I'm doing. I'm starting to become a bit of an expert now, aren't I? Could this be um, advertisers a walk through how to do the game? Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Pull up. Um, there's a switch. Hopefully that opens this door. It does. Okay. Uh, I think I can hear rats. Maybe it's tinnitus. Okay. 
Yeah, I think we're going to the sewer bit. Oh, look at that. And spikes. Deadly spikes. Who puts spikes in a sewer? That seems like a weird thing to do. Not many Tomb Raiders go raiding a sewer. But as I said, we need to find these keys and the, uh, the designers of this puzzle put them in all weird places. Found the rusty key to get into this bit in the first place. Now we don't want to be knocked onto the spike by this rat. That's the, that's the biggest fear. Don't lose too much energy from it attacking. Yes. Mutant rats. I don't know how many levels we've got to cope with rats. I think it might just be this one. I think we head to Egypt in a few levels time. I might be wrong, it might be near the end. Or it might be a completely different game. Right, it's all looking very green. There's lots of algae dropping below here, so we're in the slight like, vaults of the sewer. Do sewers have vaults? I don't know. But expect rat population. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, innit? Now what? Let's explore the area, take that out. Uh Hmm, there don't seem to be too much going on in here. There's a door, which we need to unlock, so there'll be a switch somewhere, and that's got a key in it. I think. It's a huge key. Now, there's bound to be a switch somewhere, probably by heading upwards, I would have thought. And these blocks seem to be arranged in a way that say, go on, mate, go up. So we will. In the hope that something turns up. Seems to be how the level's been designed. Keep going up, hit switches, go back down. And it is, I don't mind the going up bit, I don't mind that. It's the coming back down again, which um, I have more of a problem with. Seems to be quite easy to miss a jump and fall down a great distance. Um, when was my last blue crystal? If it all goes wrong, I'd have to start back from there. So keep your fingers crossed that doesn't happen. This jump looks a bit suspect. The level is lower than where we are, but I think there's... I don't think we can overshoot the way it's arranged. No, because if we overshoot, we just jump into a wall. So I think that's fine. Fine. Jump up here, turn right. There's going to be another jump. I don't think there's some sconces on the wall. It looks like a goat with a green afro or something. Let's have a look at that. Don't want to fall into that water. So I think um, the banks are too high and you can't get back out again. That looks like a switch down there. Jump across here, throw that switch, and hopefully, should do, I can't see anything else happening, that door below opens. The door below is opened. We've got to get that key. Let's go. Pointy boobs. Sorry, didn't mean to say that. But it's true, though. I think she becomes a bit more, uh, how can I say this in a PC way? She has more polygons in future games. It looks more human. Well done, Nick. I think you got away with that. Well done. Right, we need to get back down to that lower level without dying. There we go. I don't think we can hang off and drop. We're too high up. I think. Yeah, see, look, look at that. I think there's a goat sconce. There's two next to each other there. Is it a goat, or is it just some weird person? Or is it a lion? It might be a lion, actually. It's very 2D. It's not standing out anyway. Nice, nice bit of brickwork there we're seeing in nice mottled grey. I keep getting my guns out, because I, I think one of Natla's henchmen might turn up. He hangs about in the sewer. It's one of his favourite places. I think we're doing things in the right order so far anyway. I can't think of any other tangents we could have gone. But the tricky bit in this game is knowing when to hit this switch, which we haven't come up to yet, which raises or lowers the water level. Uh, we only want to do it once because I don't want to keep hitting the switch backtracking a hundred times. So we need to do all the things we need to do when the water's low like this. Don't miss anything out. Uh, once that's done... Raise the water level and do all the things we need to do, and it's above. Did you follow that? Probably not. I'm wittering on like a fool. But uh, if you're any um, knowledge of this series and other stages I've commented through, talking like a fool all dear to me. 
Talk like a fool is what I do a lot. Right, Natla's henchmen. Is that the same bloke as before? Might be. Seems got the same jacket. But we all know what's going to happen here. If I don't die, I'm going to fill him full of lead and he's going to bugger off. Right, he's disappeared, I bet. He's done a Houdini. He's gone again. Why can't he have the decency to die? Right, that's the end of him. We seem to have survived. We took a few bullets to the bottom, but um, we're still fighting fit. His appearance was activated by getting that key, I think. I think we might have to jump in the water now. And in true Tomb Raider fashion, there'll be some corridor we have to go down. And uh, my chance of drowning is always there. Right, here we go. Getting a bit claustrophobic. Oh, that was a nice, that was a nice short path. I'll go buy that for a dollar. Now, where are we? Another room. Is there going to be... Is there going to be another switch somewhere? But I can't see if there's any way to go up. I can hear odd animals here and there. Does that just open on its own? No. There's definitely a key in there. Silver key, I think. How do we go up? Um. Hmm. Oh. Crocodiles. I'm glad they didn't appear when I swam up here in the first place, but let's peg them. Right, they're dead. Uh. Yeah. How are we going to go up? I think at this point we need to, um, maybe this is the way. So I think at this point we need to increase the water level, I think, to, to go up. But how we do that, we need to find that uh, switch. It's like a dryer switch or a draining switch. Where the hell is it? Um, switch, where are you? Can't find it. Where is it? Somewhere in here, probably. Can you see it? It might be disguised. It might have algae on it. Where's this damn switch? Where is it? Uh, hmm. What was the mid power? That's it. That's it on the right, is it? I think I just took an eye of it. As I fell into the water, I didn't mean to. Well, the switch is in here. We need to um, go back down. I don't think there's any way through here. This is what's called a dead end. A cul-de-sac. This is annoying. Maybe this is why I didn't complete the system before. There's a switch there. You can see top in the middle. Need to pull that, but can't get up until the water level's higher. See if I can peg those rats from here. So we need to get on that upper level. And this is why a lot of people stopped playing the game and got stuck here, because what the hell do you do? Not looking obvious. There's nowhere to go. And now I'm starting to get a bit worried for the series. Oh dear. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Perhaps... Oh, this looks like a new bit. Is it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure that was. Was that back to the beginning or was that a new bit? I was a bit worried that I was going to run out of air then. I bottled it, what's known in the trade. Well, it must be something like this to escape. Uh, I think this is back where I came. Right, so this is where I started. Can I climb out? I'm trying to backtrack here. No, that level's too high. As I suspected, I can't get out. So we're committed now. We can't go back. Oh dear. I'm sensing at some point a sometime later thing comes up. Which like hides the fact that it's taken me five weeks to do the stage. Um, hmm. Just gathering my thoughts here. What should I do? Well, I think we should go back to that previous, previous room. There might have been another passage going somewhere else. Might have been. I, I'm really grabbing at straws here. But I certainly need a bit more oxygen. Curse you, cistern. Uh, dearie me. I need, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi here, or some sort of, like, super guide. The book's not enough. I need someone talking to me. Maybe I should do these live. No, no, forget it. I can never do these live. That'd be just crazy. It's enough, it's enough pressure knowing that I've got to upload it. If, I've, if I'm doing it live with people watching at the same time, I, I'd go to pieces. Right. 
Is this, an, oh, this is a new direction. Please corridor end and it's not just a, a, a death's valley. Okay. Where are we now? Is this back to the main outside bit? I think we're back to the main area. Who knows? Yeah, this is the main area. Dead, dead rat. Someone killed him. It was probably me. Right. Um, so we've got one key anyway. Let's see where we can stick that. Hmm, it's a bit like a sprawling area like the Colosseum was. More square, this. What am I saying? It's all square. Right, there's a door. That's locked. There's another door that's locked. We need to find... Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Ba 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 ba. If in doubt, find a block you can jump on to go upwards. Just let me know if you find one. There must be loads around here. Right, this is promising. Right, a slope going upwards. This way. Right, we'll go up this way. Oh, there's a blue crystal up there. I fancy doing a bit of saving. Or shall we? Let's go over here first. See if there's anything obvious where I can stick that key in. I don't think there is. My options are limitless. I need to go up, like I thought. Let's go back. It's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Certainly a Tomb Raider's prerogative. It's anyone's prerogative, apart from Bobby Brown. It's not his prerogative. Right, up. Lots of more goat sconces. Oh, that didn't work. We'll have to try those odd little stair, stony stair things here. Can you see, is it a goat or is it a lion? It's probably a lion, isn't it? Please let me save. Save. There it is. That's convenient. Thank you very much. That'll do me. Saved. We need to find... Because we put the first key in that first... Oh, dear. We put the first key in that first door, didn't we? And then uh, there was another one slightly to the right of it. So we need to get back to there, I'd imagine. That would seem to make sense. Another save crystal. Maybe we're doing this wrong. We wouldn't put two so close together. That's confused me. Well, we'll ignore that one this time. We'll just try and walk around it. Why would they put two crystals that close together? I must have missed something out. Maybe that's not the way to go. Let's jump across here. This this stage is very, very confusing. <laughs> Cistern! Hooray! Yes. Um, these stairs seem to be leading somewhere. Hopefully it's not a red herring. Don't tend to be. Uh, that jump's too big. And I'm not even sure that's a platform. Is that a part of the wall? I'm not jumping across there. Instant death. Yeah, that's not a platform. That's a part of the wall, that white bit. Um, hmm. Suggestions, please. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll work it out. Maybe. Is that a Beatles song? We can work it out. Unless it's the system, of course, and then it's a bit trickier. I don't think... I don't think they would have written that song if they were playing this game. The Fab Four. Oh, I am scratching my head now. I'm, um, I'm really wearing out my hair. Don't want to go bald playing this game. Or any game, really. I am absolutely stumped. Let's have a look at this guidebook again. Well, this isn't the way anyway, so we need to go back across here. That was a waste of time. Grab. It's just an opportunity to die, I think, that was. Right, let's go up here, see if we can get on that balcony across there. But I don't want to use this crystal up. 
I like the. I didn't notice that before. I like the way that I'm reflected in the crystal. Can you see me there? That's nice. Actually, this position might affect my run up. I want to get that platform. Hmm. I might have to save it to get rid of that blue thing. I'm sure I can make that jump. Yeah. Whoops. Please. Oof. So many close calls in this game. So many close calls. Just getting my guns ready because I suspect if this door does open... This wasn't the door I was going for. But we'll try it anyway. Seemed to make sense, wouldn't it? A silver lock and I'll put a silver key in. Will it? And then we'll be into another area and I'm sure we'll have to solve some sort of complicated puzzle. It's open. Great. That's brilliant. And there's another door. <laughs> what? Who does that? Oh my word. Can I use the same key again? Please say yes. Play. Oh, I only got that ski on thing. No. And <laughs> no. What? Ah oh, no. Ah oh, no. Right. Oh blast. So that didn't work. Well, at least we got one door open. What's the chances we unlock the second one eventually? And uh, that uh, got another door behind it. Oh, let's just. I, I'm failing to accept it. Where's the other? Where's the other key? Behind this urn. That's not fair. This could be a sprawling trek as well then, where it's not here either. Who's watering these plants? They're not very overgrown. Someone's coming in and doing it. I've said this before. Where are the, where are the caretakers? They're here somewhere, hiding, watching us on CCTV. Okay. Now what? Oh, dear. If I get off this level, then, uh, <laughs> what am I saying? If I get off this level, I'm going to have an even trickier time on the next level. It's all trickier from here onwards. That's why it's blundering. I mean, the first few levels were uh, were tricky enough. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know if you could tell. The first few levels were tricky enough, but now it's getting, uh, now it's getting obnoxiously difficult. <laughs> Whoever made this game is a sadist. Fun though it is. If, if I actually complete it and see whatever game over sequence is there, I'll be jumping up and down like a crazy person. Trust me, it... Well, th yeah, let's go confident again. It will happen. I've, I've got this game beat. Yes, brilliant. Yeah, easy peasy. Go in with bravado, confidence, remember. And then if it goes wrong, who cares? You gave it your best shot. I don't know if you noticed at all, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> just for just for I share it with you. Don't tell anyone else though, eh? Right. I use that save crystal this time. I don't know if you noticed there. Let's go this way. I didn't notice this before. This looks like it's leading somewhere important. It's looks a bit space age. Oh, they him again. I was hoping it was a badger or a rat or something. How can he survive? Look how close I am! This is ridiculous. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, he's legging it again. Die, you f Just die. What is he wearing? That is at most... Oh, he ran into a wall and vanished. His jacket, I don't know what it's made out of, but I want one. That can take so many bullets. Maybe he's a robot or something. I think he's gone now. And this leads to this area. We're still alive somehow. As you can see, Lara's La got very protective stuff on. Uh, very skimpily dressed, Lara. I think that's why the game was a lot of a success. Anyway, we won't dwell on that. What do we need to do in this area? Go up. If in doubt, go up. There's bound to be a switch in here that does something. Or maybe there isn't. Maybe this is just a red herring again. But why go through the bother of uh, doing the graphics of these lovely grates here 
that look wafer thin if it weren't. Oh, there's a switch if they didn't mean anything. Right, what does this do? <laughs> well, I, I either heard interference or a very brief water sound, which means um, I might have drained the area. I thought that was the bigger switch before, but anyway. As long as it's drained. I don't know if I've done this in the right order, you know. We'll soon find out. Um, head up. Up, up and away. I'm going mad. No, I'm not going mad. That's already happened about two stages ago. Going mad was a bit optimistic. It's already happened. Oh, med pack, that's good. I wouldn't mind a door up here going somewhere obvious. I need road signs or markers or something. This is me playing it. Up here. Uh, up here. Oh, what's all that about? Bloom. I can't see anything. I don't think this leads anywhere. It's just a dark bit. Let's get out of here. Right. I think what we're going to do. Whoops. It's hopefully not that. We're going to drop out of here, go back to the area, because that switch, I think, drains some water, and it should enable us to reach other bits. That's confidence for you. What could possibly, possibly go wrong? <coughs> Nothing. Well, everything. Well, you could die. Ah, but after that, though, if you take away dying, yeah. You have nothing to fear but fear itself. And abject failure. But apart from those two, that's all you have to fear. Plus a spike. And a rat. And drowning. And after that, fear itself. I need to get down to the... That'll do. There's a switch again. Quite tempted to do the switch for a second time to release that special sound effect, but uh, I I think that's exciting enough. I don't want you to faint the excitement and wake up 20 minutes earlier, and you've missed uh, 20 minutes later, I should say. It's impossible to wake up 20 minutes earlier, but wake up 20 minutes later and um, you've missed the video, which I've completed. I'm sure I will. Right, where are we going now? Secret passage or dead end or drowning? Through here. This way. Swim, 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 swim. Oh God, right. This way. And there's a rat there. It's a rat swim, I suppose they do. No one's feeding Nick, because he seems to nibble me. That rat's probably as big as me. That's a huge, oh, get off. Oh my God, do us a favor. Right, we know what's gonna happen now then, don't you? Swimming rat, ratatouille. Bop. He fell down and died. Right. I like that rat and ratatouille. The rats here in the sewer are mutant bastards. Oh dear, I swore. I don't tend to do that. My apologies, but it's true. It's true. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay, let's move on. Move on. That looks fairly easy to get, he says. Leap, jump, got. Fantastico. Okie doke. And there's a key. That'll do us. That's a bonus, actually. It's not behind a door. It's there. And the, the mere um, vision of it means I'm going in the right direction. They don't put false keys in here for no reason at all. Right. Okie dokie. Thank you. Hmm. Uh. 
That'll do us. Shimmy across. Is there a couple of rats down there? They're going mental. <laughs> well, they're obviously tracking my movement. They're following my shadow and going mad. Well, I, well, I'm not looking forward to jumping down onto those two. I'll get the guns ready. Right, drop down, get the guns out, blast them. Oh, la oh dear, we landed on a slope. Oh dear, has that cursed us? Do we have to go all the way back? Hopefully not. Well, anyway, you see the area is now flooded. There's lots of water about. So that short water effect obviously meant a lot. Sploosh. So we should should be able to swim everywhere now. No need for doing massive jumping. Hopefully this is uh I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it's done something. So that other white um that silver key should open that other door over here, I would have thought. And then if we see another door behind that one, I'm gonna go absolutely mad. Didn't need to do that. We could have just swam across, but fair enough. See, I'm not sure if that does open that door or opens this second one here. It's going to open one of them, I would have thought. But the first door was opened by a rusty key. They might go like for like. So either it opens this one or that one over there. Well, let's just... Uh, Eliminate this from our inquiries. Let's see if it fits. Don't want to do this in the wrong order. Oh, we did it right. I thought I had a silver key, but it was just a rusty key. Fair enough. Fair oh dear, spikes. That's good. Oh, I don't fancy dropping in here. Well, I'm going to have to pull back on the um, the controller quite quickly so she goes level. Is this going to be dead? Oh, bloody hell, that is close. How close is that? Oh, don't say this is a dead end. Right. Right. I'm going to run out of air here. Why would they do that? Why would there be a door just with spikes and a dead end? There, there must be something I wasn't seeing. Right, got to be extremely careful here. If I hit a spike, I'm dead. And that is that is just way close. Heart in the mouth time here. That's that's naughty. Oh, down, down, go down. That was horrible. It's still horrible. How do I get out of this bit? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. This is like the start of a drowning scene. Alright, um, um, this isn't good. Oh, right, through here. Oh, is this going to come up anywhere? Forget about that med pack, I need to get out of here. Oh, there's a key. Pick it up. Got it. And then we're back into the outside. Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought I was a goner then, for sure. Was that a silver key we picked up? It looked a bit yellowy. Might have been a gold key. Oh, great, yeah. And a crocodile as well, just just for uh, just for luck. We know what's going to happen to you. Where's he gone? Perhaps he's got the invisibility cloak like the henchman has. And he floats to the surface dead. I wonder if I drained all the water again, he'd um, just stay at that height. That's what happened before on another level, but it wasn't so um, exaggerated as this. I think we're making slow progress on this, you know. So now we have to backtrack all the way across again. That's what the book says, and who, who am I? Who am I to go against that? Because we have to hit that dry switch that we saw with the crocodiles. Or somewhere. We've got to hit that switch anyway. 
See, I never would have guessed that without the guide, I would have been lost. We need one more key, you see. Right, I, t I told you we wouldn't see this, this jump again, but we do. But this will be the last time, unless you watch it again. If you're watching it again, well done you. Jump. Well done. Right, let's go for it again. Boom. Crack, see, you remember this. This is all easy stuff now from memory. Shimmy across, uh, then there'll be some slopes to drop down, then we have to climb up and do, do all manner of things. The writers of this game, uh, Core Design, they, they liked you backtracking and doing stuff again. But uh, that's not going to stop us, because we're making good progress on this. If we have to backtrack, we will do. We're going to solve this game by Jiminy. I tells thee, we're going to get all three pieces of that skill on. Or is it four pieces? I still don't know. But no matter how many they are, we're going to get all of them, and we're going to complete this, this damn fine game. Oh yes. It's not in question, it's going to get done. Maybe. Right, is there going to be any more crocodiles here? Hopefully not. They're still dead in the position we killed them. Don't get that in modern day games, do you? When you kill something, it just disappears. Here they stay where they are throughout the entire game. And they never rot, either. Hooray! That's a nice cheery fort. Right, let's try and do this as quickly as pos. Up, up, up. This stage is going well, compared to I remember it. I don't think I got this far before, back in the day. But how could you? It's so, it's so obscure, the order you have to do things. How could you have done this without a guy telling you what to do? You couldn't, I don't think. If anyone completed this without any strategy or any guy just walking around, well, well done you. You are, um, uh, well, a breed of human that is very rare. See, that's the, that, that's the bit that's always a worry. We lost a, a small bit of strength, but it's the way to go. Can't see any other way of doing it. We're almost in our favourite sewer again. Shouldn't be any more rats or anything to kill us, because we pretty much shotgunned their brains to pieces. But you never know, they might have a few more that turn up. Who knows, as long as that Natler's henchman doesn't, doesn't arrive again. I don't know how much he's being paid, but it's not enough. Up. Now it's quite easy to get complacent when it gets to this backtracking and um, go too quick and then die. We don't want to do that. The last blue crystal save was a while ago now. Whoops. Bashed her head on the ceiling. Seems to be okay though. Not concussed or anything. Hmm. No, there's spikes here, wasn't there? Yep. We're not going to go on them. How long has this been going on for? It must be near in an hour. I'm pleased so far with the progress. The more I can remember this bit. It's one of these stages where you can drown. See, this is flooded a bit deeper this time. Uh, or is it? I think it's my imagination. Now, that dry switch, was it in here? I can't remember. Might have been. Was it? I'm having brain freeze. Where is it? It must be here somewhere. It was in a corner, wasn't it? Or was it? Oh, no. Where is it? Uh, oh dear. Now the video could last twice as long again while I'm looking for this switch. Where is it? Oh no, this is very frustrating. Uh, maybe go and make yourself a cup of tea or something while I'm trying to work out where the switch is. Right, I think I've worked it out. It's not in this room at all. It's where those alligators were, wasn't it? Sorry about that. So let's find the alligator room, or crocodile room, where we pegged them. It's in there. Look, there they are, pegged. There's the switch. Right, sorry about that, I had brain freeze. Didn't mean to do that either. 
I just want to pull this lever, if I can, but you need to position yourself in exactly the correct way. Which I haven't done. This would be great, wouldn't it, if I'd done all those things, got everything in the right order, and then drowned trying to pull a lever. Well, that blue bar represents our oxygen. Oh, come on, I must be able to do this. Come on, i just got to pull a switch. Right. Good. Pull it. Right, that should have opened that. Right, and that's the last of the silver keys. So I'll we'll grab, peg these rats here, grab these medipacks. That wasn't very nice. I think I just caught, caught a blue um, save crystal though, which would be lovely if it was. Oh, red eyes there, they're like demon rats. I haven't used that compass yet. I don't know why you'd need to know if you're going north, south, east or west. That other rat can go at a short distance. Yeah, there's lots of goodies up here. Lovely. We must be near the end of the level. I said. Save it. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Everything's been done in the right order, I believe. That last door opened, which is the last of the... I think it's the last of the silver keys, which opened the last of the doors. Genius. Right, and another medipack just to be on the safe side. We carry those forward onto future levels, so they're going to come in very useful. Gold key. One more key left to get, and the door's open. We just got to work out where that door was. Was it down below? It was on the pre. Actually, it was on the previous bit, was it not? Let's just investigate this in case I'm missing something. Oh, there it is. There. There it is. There. Get it. Oh, that's nice, and we can swim right to the outside again. That's a beauty. If I can indeed pick the thing up. Lara, just... <laughs> right, let's get some air. I just, I'm, oh, I just can't pick a key up. That's bad. Right. Oh, writers of this game, it's so obvious that's what I wanted to do. Why couldn't you just, just throw me some slack on this one? Pick it up. The hu huge key disappeared into the backpack or trousers or shorts or something. Brilliant. Now hopefully there's no more backtracking here. We need to get back up to that one, that door on the veranda. Where was that? It was, it was, where was it? It's up there. We need to get over there. We could swim over there. Perfecto. No more crocodiles. Why? Actually, I don't need to jump across. I can just swim. What am I doing? I'm going. I'm going back to what it was before we flooded flooded the compartment. Can I allow myself to get excited? Are we near the end? Hmm. <laughs> Let's go up here. There's bound to be something that runs out. Right, the second, the first door's open. We know this. Let's open the second one. Is there going to be gorilla trouble, or velociraptor trouble, or wolf trouble, or lion trouble, or rat trouble, or um, any other trouble? Right, let's open that. So we're just left with a gold key now, and that needs to go somewhere. Where's this place? There's another door. That ah, crystal, that'll do us. I'll take that, thank you very much. We're almost saying goodbye to the cistern, you know. Saved. 
there's the lock. There's a gold lock there. Is the game going to end as soon as I get this gold key in this lock? This could be it. Oh, gorilla, just for the look of the thing. I would have expected no less. Just one or two? No, just one. He was waiting there. He was. He had one job to do and he, he's dead. Gold key. Is this the end of the game? I'd imagine a door's got to open somewhere. That's normally the case. I think that's just below me, is it not? I can hear some roaring. There's two lions down there. They come out of the door. Deary me. Can I shoot them from up here? I don't think they're going to cause too much of bother. But I don't really want to fight them if I don't have to. If I can peg them from up here, that'd be great. Well, that's one dead. One left. He seems totally oblivious that his mate's been hit by a shotgun. He should be running off. I'll jump across here if I can get a shot from this side. Come on. Must be able to get a shot in from here. It's not aiming at all. Oh, let's just... One more go. And then I'll just drop down and take my chances, I think. Yeah? That's him dead, is it? If I drop down, will there be some more? Then I should just walk through that door and it's game over. Is there going to be any um, last minute surprises here? I'm getting a bit tense again, as I do. It's called end of level tenseness. Well, fellow blunderers. Oh, what's this, a chessboard? Oh dear, something's going to happen in here, surely. There's a big area for nothing. There's a switch down the end. But the guidebook says if I hit that switch, more lions turn up. So I'm not going to be doing it. What was that? I thought the level was ending now. There don't seem to be any every obvious door. We know that, that switch is a red herring. We won't be pulling that. I believe there's a block to pull out somewhere. Just trying to guess which bit of this mess is the block. Is this the block? There's no handhold, so maybe that isn't the stone block. Because you pull out the block, there's a, it releases a hole, and then you drop down the hole. Let's see if there's any graphical clues. Ah, there's a graphical clue there. Right, this is the block. We pull it out. Yeah, you can tell by the graphics inside they're blending in. But that's it. Oh, we're near the end. We're near the end of the cistern. Now we drop down this hole that should be over here and hopefully do not die. I'm a bit I'm a bit worried about dying at this point. Should be able to drop that's a ledge. You should be able to drop down there, surely. No spikes are going to suddenly turn up, are they? Right. Oh, let's just drop down. It's water down there. Ooh. Oh, dear. She worried me by the screaming, but we're there. That's fantastic. So that has been uh, Tomb Raider Blundering Stage 8, The Cistern. Continue with me on further stages. Hope you liked having a look at that one. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Until next time, of course, goodbye. Goodbye.